Okay friends, today we will discuss about BGP local preference attribute. Attributes or matrix are set of rules which a routing protocol uses to calculate and select the best path. BGP has a rich set of attributes and local preference is just one of them. First of all, let's discuss some important points about BGP local preference. BGP local preference is the second but most important attribute in the BGP best path selection algorithm. Although it gets second position in the list after BGP weight, but BGP weight loses its significance due to being vendor specific. BGP local preference is a well-known discretionary attribute. Well-known means that all BGP implementations must recognize it. Discretionary means that it is not necessary that all BGP routers must send it in their updates. In short, BGP local preference is an attribute which must be recognized by all BGP enabled routers in an autonomous system, but it is not necessary that these routers will always send it to their peers. It is up to their own discretion whether they want to send it or not. The range of BGP local preference is from 0 to 4.2 billion. 4.2 billion because BGP local preference is a 32-bit number and it can span maximum up to 4.2 billion as shown in this formula. The default value of BGP local preference is 100. It means that if we do not set any value on a BGP router, then it automatically adopts the default value of 100. Now, if we want to make this router as exit point for our AS, then we have to increase its BGP LP value above 100, either 101 or whatever, but must be greater than 100. Router with the highest local preference value is always preferred. All BGP enabled routers start exchanging updates as soon as we enable BGP in our AS. After all negotiations and exchanges are completed, the router with the highest BGP local preference wins and is elected as exit point for our AS. BGP local preference, in contrast to its name, is never local on a router. It is always broadcasted to all iBGP neighbors. Here, another important point is that BGP local preference is never shared with eBGP neighbors. It means that local preference is always active only on our local autonomous system. It never crosses the AS boundary. Many people often confuse BGP local preference with weight and MET. Local preference weight and MET all are used for the same purpose, which is traffic path selection. BGP local preference influences our own autonomous system to select the exit point, while MED influences our peer autonomous system on how to enter to our AS and from where to enter. And then BGP local preference and weight are both used to choose the exit point. Weight is local and always configured on one router while BGP local preference affects the whole autonomous system. Changing the weight on a router affects only this router, while changing the BGP local preference on a router affects the whole autonomous system. This is a basic difference between weight and local preference. So for any specific prefix, weight influences only one router that how to reach to that network, while BGP local preference influences the whole autonomous system on how to reach to that network. So these are some basic differences between BGP local preference, weight and MED. Let's understand this through an example. There are two autonomous systems in this topology, AS100 on the left and AS200 on the right. AS200 is running IGP and IBGP. Both autonomous systems are connected through eBGP. 444 is a prefix being advertised by AS200 to AS100 and 111 is a prefix being advertised from AS100 to AS200. Now there are two paths between R1 and R4. One via R2 means this upper path and the other is via R3 means this lower path. In normal conditions, R3 will be the exit point for AS200, so R1 will adopt the lower path via R3. Now if we want that our traffic should adopt the path via R2, then we have to increase the BGP local preference value on R2 above the default value of 100, 101, 200 or anything 
but it must be above 100. Let's say we make it 200. As soon as we make it 200, R2 will turn into the exit point of AS200 and traffic between R1 and R4 will start flowing via upper path. In this way, we can use BGP local preference to influence the traffic paths. We can achieve the same results by using other BGP attributes, but every attribute has its own merits, demerits and restrictions. For example, if we want to achieve the same results in this topology by using weight, then we must have access on R1 because weight is always configured locally and it must be configured on R1. But if we don't have access on R1 due to some reason, for example, if it's under some other management domain, then we can use BGP local preference on the other side, just like we did in this example. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more and updated videos.